Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson three. Reasoning about contexts with tape diagrams, part two. Problem number one from seventh grade unit five, lesson 15. Solve each equation mentally. A, two times X equals 10. Since 10 divided by two equals five, I know that two times five equals 10. So X equals five. B, negative three times X equals 21. Well, I know that a negative times a negative equals a positive, And I know that 21 divided by three equals seven. So in this case, X equals negative seven. C, one third times X equals six. So that looks like a positive times a positive equals a positive. And six divided by one third equals 18. But I also know that six is one third of 18. So X equals 18. D, negative one half X equals negative seven. I know that a negative times a positive equals a negative. So X is going to be a positive and seven divided by one half equals 14. I also know that seven is half of 14. X equals 14. Look at the equation one more time. We can think of it as half of 14 equals seven. So negative half of 14 equals negative seven. Problem number two from seventh grade unit five, lesson three. Complete the magic squares so that the sum of each row, each column, and each diagonal in a grid are all equal. Look at the first grid on the left. They've given us the zero, the seven, and the two. If we add those up, the total sum is nine. Each row, column, and diagonal have to have the sum of nine. Let's go to the middle column. Seven plus three is 10, minus one is nine. Now the bottom row, four minus one is three, and three plus six is nine. So the sum of this bottom row is equal to nine. Let's go to the right hand column. Six plus one is seven, plus two is nine. So the right hand side column has a sum of nine. Let's go to the empty box on the left. Five plus three plus one is nine, and vertically, on the left side, we can go zero plus five plus four is nine. Let's check some of the rows, columns, and diagonals. Five plus three plus one, that's nine. Four plus three plus two, that's nine. And zero plus three plus six, that's nine. Let's move over to the next grid. They've given us the one, the three, and the five. That also totals nine. So in this grid, each row, column, and diagonal needs to total nine. On the right hand vertical column, six minus two, that's four, and four plus five equals nine. Let's go to the column on the left, one plus eight plus zero, that equals nine. Across the top, one plus two plus six, that equals nine. Vertically, two plus three plus four, that equals nine. Diagonally, zero plus three plus six, that equals nine. Across the bottom, zero plus four plus five, that equals nine. Let's move over to the next grid. They've given us four plus two plus zero. That equals six. For this grid, every row, every column, and every diagonal needs to have the sum of six. The left column, three plus four minus one. That equals six. Across the top, three minus two plus five. That equals six. The middle row, four plus two plus zero. That equals six. Across the bottom, negative one, plus six plus one, that equals six. Left hand column, three plus four minus one, that equals six. Middle column, six plus two minus two, that equals six. Right hand column, one plus zero plus five, that equals six. This diagonal, three plus two plus one, that equals six. The other diagonal, five plus two minus one, that equals six. Problem number three, draw a tape diagram to match each equation. A, five times X plus one equals 20. Here I've drawn a tape diagram with X plus one drawn out five times and altogether it equals 20. B, five X plus one equals 20. 
So here you can see that I've drawn X five different times and then added one. Together, that equals 20. Problem number four. Select all the equations that match the tape diagram. A. 35 equals 8 plus X six different times. Yes, that matches the tape diagram perfectly. Within the total of 35, you have an 8 added to six different X's. B. 35 equals 8 plus 6 times x. Again, that's correct because you have a total of 35 and that equals 8 plus 6 times x. C. 6 plus 8x equals 35. That does not work because 6 plus 8x isn't the same as 8 plus 6x. D. 6x plus 8 equals 35. That's a perfect match because it's actually the same as 8 plus 6x equals 35 because the order doesn't matter. E. 6x plus 8x equals 35x. This is incorrect. First of all, the tape diagram doesn't equal 35x. It equals 35. And 8x is not the same as 8. F. 35 minus 8 equals 6x. This is a perfect match because if you subtract 8 from 35, what you'll have left over is 6x. The equations that match the tape diagram are A, B, D, and F. Problem number 5 from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 2. Each car is traveling at a constant speed. Find the number of miles each car travels in one hour at the given rate. A. This car travels 135 miles in 3 hours. So the given rate is 135 miles in 3 hours. Let's figure out what that is in a unit rate. We can divide 3 by 3 to get 1 and divide 135 by 3 to get 45. 3 times 45 equals 135 and 1 times 45 equals 45. This car travels 45 miles in 1 hour. The given rate for B is 22 miles in a half an hour. Multiply the half hour by 2 and it becomes 1 hour. Multiply 22 miles by 2 and it becomes 44 miles. The car for B is traveling 44 miles in 1 hour. C. The given rate is 7.5 miles in 1 fourth of an hour. We can multiply 1 fourth times 4 to make it 1 hour and we have to multiply 7.5 times 4, which is 30. So car C is driving 30 miles in one hour. The given rate for car D is 100 over 30 miles in two-thirds of an hour. We can multiply two-thirds by its reciprocal, 3 over 2, to get 1, and multiply 100 over 3 by 3 over 2. We can cross-cancel. 3 goes into 3 once, 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 100 50 times. So we're left with 50 over 1, which is equal to 50. So car D travels 50 miles in one hour. The given rate for E is 97 and 1 half miles in 3 halves hour. 3 halves of an hour is the same as 1 and a half hours. We need to find out how many miles in one hour. We can multiply by the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. That gives us one hour. We need to multiply 97 and one half mile by two thirds. We need to change it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Two times 97 plus one. That equals 195 over two. Cross cancel, two goes into two once, three goes into three once, and three goes into 195 65 times. We end up with 65 over one, which is 65. So the speed of the car for E is 65 miles in one hour. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.